two days ago that we knew that they weren't letting um, international fans come to the Olympics, that it was just going to be local Japanese fans in the Olympic venues. But now we found out that they are not going to allow, even allow local fans in, meaning we're going to have – it's going to feel like the 2020 NBA bubble type uh, atmosphere for mm-hmm. these Olympic Games. No fans in the stadiums. It kind of sucks for the athletes, right? We have feel like we're kind of on the right side of like getting behind this whole pandemic things. Things are opening up. Not People Japan. are getting vaccinated. Not in Japan. Not, but, Not in Japan. You know, there is that vibe here in America at least. That like things yeah. are starting to open up and there's not skyrocketing deaths because people are getting vaccinated and it's going in the right direction. So you would yeah. think that like this uh, this you just assumed I guess that Tokyo was in that same situation, um, and then now for it to be told like no we're not doing that it's kind of like ah oh, man you want that environment. What was your reaction sure. to now realizing that they're going to be kind of running track and field on a sound stage in a way? Yeah, uh, it's a bummer, obviously, for the athletes. For me, watching from home, it doesn't really matter, uh, right? But um, I think we could sort of see this coming. There have liter- literally been protesters in Japan not wanting the Olympics to happen. There was, there's been some uncertainty even in the last month about whether the games were even going to happen. I think we can safely say now that we're in July, the Olympics are going to happen. I think Japan at this point kind of wishes they weren't going to happen. You had the emperor literally come out recently and say the game shouldn't be there. doesn't want them to be there. You know, they uh, say what you will about the vaccine. You know, the U S has had much, much better rates of vaccination than they've had in Japan, whether that's access or vaccine hesitancy. I think it's a combination of both, but they've had some issues with the coronavirus that they have ne- that they didn't necessarily have in 2020, at least to, to the level that they're experiencing now. So I understand why they're nervous. Uh, it's a bummer though for the athletes. Um, I think, you know, a- the, the professional athletes in the US have talked about this year, having fans back in the stadium is really helpful. And I think with track, you know, especially feeling that adrenaline, um, it, it's conducive to good performance. And uh, I did joke at the beginning, like, oh, it doesn't matter for me. I'm watching at home. It, it, it's a bummer as far as fan, even what, you know, not having any crowd noise um, is even if it's pumped in. I mean, honestly, it's it's going to be a little like traumatic to like have pumped if they do this, like the pumped in crowd noise. Like that was such a 2020 thing that I never want to relive yeah. ever again. Like the thought of having to do cardboard cutouts and pumped in fan noise is just like is too much for me to even think about right now. Um but yeah, I mean, it's it's tough for the athletes. I get why they're they're doing it because they're just having an outbreak. But um, God, man, uh, I wish they could have figured something else out. Um, and either got there, got vaccinated, or or I don't know, fa- just not had the situation. Um, I do think there. This is to get it on a, on a medical side, and which I am admittedly not knowledgeable, but I've heard that there there's some pretty serious vaccine hesitancy in Japan, so it may have been some of the issues they're having there. Um, but uh, it is uh, nonetheless disappointing for the athletes. Yeah, it's, it's just also weird. Like we're watching the NBA Finals, and you're seeing all these videos of like crazy fans from. Phoenix, like, haven't joined the moment, right? And we're just seeing, it feels like sports are kind of back, right? At least from our perspective of seeing, you know, the Phillies beat the Cubs three out of four times. Uh, And, sorry, I just had to throw that in there. (laughs) Uh, No, it's uh, it's all good. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Um, But, like, just in general, like, it's going to be weird because we're going to be like, I think a lot of people, at least American fans, are going to watch and be like, wait, this is, we're still... I thought this was over. Like it's gonna be that. It's gonna, yeah. like think about the basketball players, right? Team the, the team USA basketball team, yeah. right? They did the whole bubble thing, right? And then they did all right. We can play in our in our stadiums, but just empty, right? With just like media or whatever. And then as the season went on, they were like, "Ooh, half capacity." And then the playoffs happened, and they went full capacity. So they saw it go from nobody allowed in to just a little bit to the half. They saw it like slowly open up. And now they're getting to what could be one of the more memorable moments outside of their an NBA winning team. They're like, all right, I'm going to represent Team USA. Yeah. Now it's going back to like, wait, I'm in the bubble all over again. It's going to be a little kind of twilight zone for some of these athletes who feel like they got on the other side of it and now are going back. It's like full circle. 
They literally went around the country, around the world, and back where they started. Yeah, I you're, I didn't think of it like that, but the the bubble may be <laughs> traumatic for some of those NBA players. I don't know who all's going. I know Zach Levine from the Bulls. That's it. But you know, if any of the Heat or the Lakers players are going, and, and who had to spend like four months in the bubble, uh, it, it may be a little haunting for them. But uh, yeah. yeah, it's a it's a bummer. I mean, I, I don't know, man. It's I think it's going to be f- obviously the news registered quite a bit, but I think it'll really hit most of the world when they're actually watching the Olympics. And that's where you'll see it pop up on Twitter. Like there's no fans. What's going on? You know, uh, people just don't, it, we've kind of experienced a lot of that people watching track, you know, like that every four year cycle, we've seen that this year, people like talking about all these quirks that come with track and field. And they're like tweeting about, it. I'm like, what's what, why are they do this? And we're like, yeah, I don't know this, this has been going this way for a while. So that may happen with the Olympics when people realize when they're watching at home, that there's no, Fans, it's going to be a little odd, but at least they're having yeah, the people games. Are like, I was a little worried that they were going to cancel them for a, or you know, just full on cancel them this time. So at least we're going to have an Olympics finally. Yeah, I I never thought they were going to cancel them. I think there's protests for every Olympics, right? There's people don't yeah. bring the Olympics to Rio. Don't. Bring- 